Good afternoon, I'm Tiro and this is a video tutorial. Basically it's a method I developed on how to letterbox a video so that there's space on the bottom of it to add subtitles in um, Windows Movie Maker. This is in response to a problem that Orion 13 is having about um, adding subtitles for a let's play that has a lot of uh, stuff going on screen. So let's begin. First I bring up Virtual Dub, which is a free program, so no problems there. And here's my sample video, just the GameCube logo. First thing I do is I'm going to add a resize filter, because that's where Virtual Dub has the letterboxing going on. Resize, okay. We're not going to touch this because this uh, we're not going to change the video size, we're going to add space. So here's where we do that in the letterboxing. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to add text to the bottom. Now when you letterbox, it does it evenly, so we're going to have to double whatever we want to add here. So let's say we want to add 70 pixels for text, and uh, so we'll double that, so that's 140. So let's add 140 to the height, because we just want it a line here and a line there. So there's 100, and there's the 40. And I'm going to add color so you can see where it's going on. Let's show the preview. And here we go. We're only going to have text here, but we have to add uh, extra because that's how Virtual Dub does it. We'll get rid of this later. So we'll click OK. And there we go. Now we're going to add another resize filter because we're going to do uh, another step. And uh, let's go to the proper resize. Which one is it? This one? Yes. And we're going to crop, which um, Virtual Dub allows you to do when you add a filter. And we're going to take this off. We already know it's 70, so there we go. And now we're going to go back to the new filter we added with the 70. Show preview. We haven't done anything to it, so but we still have the cropping going on. And now we're going to letterbox it. And we're going to just do a letterbox to the ratio 4 to 3. And I'm going to choose a different color so you can see. And basically we're blowing this up now to a proper 4 to 3 ratio with videos. And there we go. So ideally you would, instead of adding color, you would just have it black. So we have plenty of space down here to write whatever you want. And we'll click OK. OK. Export it. We'll do a sample test and now let's take a look at it sample test how can it break okay ignore that let's try this again sample test there we go normal screen normal you know plenty of space now all you have to do is import it to uh, movie maker and there you go so until next time, I'm Tiro and have fun making videos. See ya.